Happy Tuesday everyone, today's story is Daisy 006 in a bit. Daisy had made up her mind. She wasn't going to be a girl anymore, she was going to be a spy. She had drawn a spy's moustache on her top lip with a black felt of pen. She had found some dark glasses in a drawer. She had found some secret spy gadgets in her mum's bedroom. All she had to do now was speak in code. Code is a special spy language that only spies understand. Daisy had seen it used in spy films. Now, this time, it was for real. Daisy frowned mysteriously and crept unseen into the kitchen. Hello, Daisy, said Mum. What do you want for tea tonight? The ostriches will be swimming in tomato sauce this evening, said Daisy which, as any spy knows, means a big portion of chicken nuggets and lots of ketchup, please. Daisy's mum stared at Daisy and scratched her head. Why are you speaking in silly words? asked Daisy's mum. They're not silly words, whispered Daisy mysteriously. It's secret spy language and my name isn't Daisy anymore. It's Double zero, double six in a bit. And what are you intending to do with my hairbrush? Double oh six and a bit, asked Daisy's mum. It's not a hairbrush, it's my secret spy telephone, said Daisy. And where are you going with my perfume bottle? Asked Daisy's mum. It's not your perfume bottle said Daisy. It's my invisible ink. And would I be wrong in thinking that that is my hair dryer? said Daisy's mum. Uh, yes, whispered Daisy. It's not a hair dryer. It's my secret baby zapper. Daisy's mum shook her head and went to find the ironing board. Double O Six in a bit slipped invisibly into the back garden. Hello, Daisy, said her neighbour. How are you today? Good afternoon, Agent Goldfish, said Daisy. Are your fins green or purple today? Which any spy knows means I'm fine, thanks, Mrs Pike. How are you? Mrs Pike stared strangely at Daisy and went to mow her grass. Daisy slipped invisibly across the garden and went to get an, give an important message to Mrs. Pike's cat. Meet me by the Golden Palace, she whispered, and bring your furry overcoat, which, as any spy knows, means, hello, tiptoes, why don't you come and sit by the shed? I want to stroke you. Tiptoes took one look at Daisy's hair dryer and shredded it all over the wall. Daisy dabbed on some more invisible ink and peeped out of the garden gate. No one will be able to see me now, she smiled. Hello, Daisy, said her best friend Gabby. Can you come out to play? The laundry basket is full and the big buzzy beaver has many clothes to fold, Daisy said. Which, as any spy knows, means, hi Gabby, I'll just ask my mum. She's doing the ironing. But Gabby gave Daisy a very strange look and went to find someone else to play with. Daisy took off her glasses and walked miserably back indoors. What's the matter, 006 and a bit? asked her mum. Aren't you playing spies anymore? No, I'm not, sighed Daisy. No one understands my spy language. They just look at me as though I'm silly. Daisy's mum stopped ironing and put her arm around Daisy's shoulders. That must be because they're not real spies, whispered her mum. If they were, they would understand everything you are saying. Daisy trudged into the living room and slumped onto the sofa. Well, they don't understand what I'm saying. They aren't any real spies around here. No one understands me and I'm not being a spy anymore. Being a spy is stupid, she grumbled. Daisy was just about to turn on the TV when a mysterious looking stranger with a purple moustache and a beard poked his head around the door. 
He had dark glasses on, just like Daisy. Psst, whispered the stranger in a deep, mysterious voice. Have you seen 006 in a bit anywhere? Daisy stared back at the stranger in surprise. She put her dark glasses on again quickly and sat up straight. Yes, I have seen 006 in a bit, she nodded. That's me, I'm 006 in a bit. That is good news, whispered the stranger, because my name is 0021 in a bit, and I am a real spy too. The coloured sprinkles will be meeting with the chocolate flake on the vanilla ice cream at tea time, whispered 0021 in a bit. And the crunchy cream biscuits and lemonade will be meeting under the big yellow duvet when the clock strikes 12, continued the mysterious stranger. Which means she's getting ice cream and sprinkles and lemonade and biscuits. 006. And a bit frowned for a moment and clapped her hands excitedly. Oh goody! I know what that means! We're having my favourite pudding for tea and then at midnight feast in your bed tonight. I'll bring my comic and a torch too. Which, as anybody knows, means thanks mum, you're the best spy in the world. The end.